Hey there YouTube, Flaming Creations, you're back with another video. I have two gloves today, both of these are for Travis. First up is this part one. Sorry for the fact that it's windy, you can probably hear the wind blowing, but I wanted to do these videos outside. Uh, this is what I would consider a prototype of sorts. Um, this is using new smaller scale templates that are more accurately sized to the part one. Um, I recently learned that my part one templates, well, part one and part two templates were oversized, so I uh, scaled them down. So this is the first glove that uses these new, more accurately sized, smaller scale templates. Um, they still might be a little bit bigger than they are supposed to be, I have no idea. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to be using these templates from now on. These are more in line and scale, but in the future I might scale them down even more if that's accurate, you know. I try to make my gloves as accurately as I could possibly make them, so. Uh, got a good look at the back plate there. The E, or backwards kind of E thing there on the back plate. Uh, it it could have been moved over a little bit more, but, you know, at least it's on there. <laughs> Got your brazing on the tips. Uh, Travis wanted the blade break, but he didn't want the palm split, so. Again, I'm sorry that it's so windy outside. You can probably hear that blowing, and it probably sounds like absolute shit. Try to get coloring on the stalls. From certain angles, you can kind of see the rainbowy sheen, but from others, you can't really. Like your little scratches there on the middle and pinky stalls. Uh, I did make the ringlets a little bit bigger. Uh, I think they're about the right size, but. Uh, Travis has a large size hand, so uh, this is a large leather. These are using um, P210 reps with the special FX edging. I get these blades from Chris at Razor Gloves. So the, it looks like it has a top bevel on it, but that's just an illusion. It's just a special effect. Uh, serrations there on the pinky and then there's some also on the index but the blade break kind of covers it. Got your palm hole cuts. Again you got your blade break. I always advise caution with the blade break. I mean it's on there and everything but I wouldn't go bashing this on like tables or anything or purposefully trying to break it otherwise yes it will break oh, it is so windy outside and if my hand looks kind of orange on the fingers I was dying leathers so solder spill there an index middle and then on the tip i'm not exactly 100 percent sure um there really isn't any good photos of the tip to my knowledge that show if those little two solder spills are there or not uh i put them there you know it might just be a part two thing but <laughs> again really don't have photos that really show that up close or not like how the back plate stain came out. Been trying to get it a little more so, so it doesn't look so, so, you know, I don't know. Otherwise, I think for a prototype part one that's using new smaller scale templates, I think this turned out pretty good. There are a few things I'm still going to be changing. Now on to your next glove. 
and your other glove is a part three needle glove. Copper might look shiny right now, but it will age up with time. Again, it's more of a time thing. Um, I did have an incident shipping uh, a needle glove somewhat recently where uh, beforehand I would always glue the actual metal syringes. I would super glue them onto the little nub or whatever so that way they couldn't be removed and everything. <coughs> There's also a way to try to help keep liquid from getting out of there. You know, don't want the liquid coming out. Uh, but in shipping, somehow they kind of like bust it off. So from now on, the way I will be shipping and doing needle gloves is I won't be gluing these onto the uh, tips, the actual needle part. I'll still include them and send them along, but they'll be like inserted into the glove in like a plastic bag or some sort of protective thing. And then you'll just have to put them on yourself. But uh, I still do keep the, uh, you know, try to keep it enclosed in there so that way no liquid can escape and everything. Like doing this, it isn't going to be dripping out little bits of liquid. <laughs> I'm also going to need to be scaling back uh, a lot of my templates. Not sure how many, but uh, uh, definitely my threes because the three is a very small glove and now that I'm using smaller size templates this is actually fairly large in size so I need to scale these down most definitely. But that'll be coming in the future once I do another part three. Again, with the needle glove, uh, we really don't know what it looks like. You pretty much only see about this in the actual film. You don't see what the back plate looks like, and you can only kind of make out the stalls. The big thing is that the tips aren't weathered at all. They look pretty bland. Uh, the stalls, it's kind of hard to see, but it doesn't look like they have any weathering on them either. <coughs> it just looks like it's just plain old copper. Uh, and the back plate, you know, I just use my normal Part 3 back plate. Uh, but we really don't know what it looks like. We don't even know what the bends on the flats of the stalls look like, so I just kind of leave them like this. Uh, we don't know what they look like. It's literally, we only get like, we only see this much of the actual needle glove on film. We don't see the rest of this is what everybody wants to kind of know and see, but no one knows what happened to the needle glove, so a lot of builders have their own interpretations of how they think it should look. Uh, but until then, you know, it's kind of more of an interpretation thing. Again, I uh, advise caution with, you know, the needle glove. You know, if you try to rip it open and you try to get the liquid out, it will come out. Otherwise, you know, if as long as you're treating it with care, it shouldn't come out at all. We don't know what the hole cuts are on the needle glove, so I just pretty much put normal part three holes in it. Uh, with this strap, I wouldn't pull on it too much. You know, you can pull on it and everything, but just don't be doing it too often. But yeah, there are your needle glove and your part one with the new more accurately scaled down armature. Uh, so yeah, um, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe. I will see you all next time. And again, sorry about it being so windy.